The status panel information appears at the bottom of the spectral graph. The first word indicates the mode that we're in. We're in scope mode. All the modes can be easily selected using the word icons above the toolbar. Scope mode, absorption mode, transmission mode, and irradiance mode. Wave is the wavelength on the x-axis where the green data cursor is currently located. PIX is the pixel number in the linear detector array. VAL is the magnitude on the y-axis. In scope mode, the magnitude is counts. Time is the detector integration time that is set by the slide bar or optionally on the setup menu. The next few items on the status panel are related to the selections or the current settings for detector integration time, number of scans to average, spectral smoothing controls, whether we have pixel boxcar or Savitsky Golade configured, temperature compensation, whether it's on or off, or the X-timing resolution control set up as level 1, 2, or 3, currently set to the highest level. Down on the status panel, this is indicated by the number of samples we're averaging, the pixel boxcar smoothing, savinsky galay smoothing, temperature compensation on or off, this indicator shows that we are zoomed in on our graph, and CH is the channel number, 1 through 8, whichever channel we have selected to view, using the View menu. We have seen the effects of increasing and decreasing the detector integration time to make a signal larger or smaller. The number of scans to average, in this particular example, we have it set at 3. By increasing the number of scans to average, you, we effectively improve the signal-to-noise of the system by the square root of the number of samples we're averaging. Additionally, uh, the smoothing controls, if we increase the level that we're currently set at, it will tend to flatten out peaks. So, for example, if pixel boxcar were selected to 1, you can see the effect of the peaks being rounded out and we're losing resolution. This is fantastic for certain types of spectroscopy applications. Other applications might need to have this type of information, so you would turn the smoothing off. In this case, we're turning off the pixel boxcar smoothing. Temperature compensation is currently turned off. I'm going to turn it on to show you the effect. The baseline is clamped at zero. This feature is updated every 15 seconds based on the temperature reading from the detector. This allows to, us to keep the baseline extremely stable when the external temperature changes. Up or down, the baseline is locked into a solid baseline. Resolution control is a feature that StellarNet provides to get the highest possible resolution out of the spectrograph. We currently have it set at high. Changing this setting to lower levels allows the digitizer to perform in a more expeditious fashion.